to Ekidel. Here in Ekidel, we train future civil and structural engineer. Okay, today I want to be showing you how to detail a reinforced concrete beam manually. And but before that, I will also show you how to use this template, Stonebridge Company Structural Detailing Templates, to to detail your beam very fast and perfectly. And as you can see, in my last video, I have done a lot of video using the Stonebridge Company Structural Templates. This 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 template is set out or is being created for a structural detailing. As you can see it here, we have a lot of samples. It can be it comes the, the, with a lot of samples as for column, as you can see it here, and also it shows the connection between the column and the foundation, as you can see it here. Also show clearly the dimensions and all that. And also if you check also, it, it shows also this other one shows in, showing the ground floor and the first floor. It shows you clearly the lapping, as you can see it here, as you can see. So this this um, template is very good for a structural engineer and also for a civil engineer to have. It also shows you your slab, your slab detailing can see it here perfectly, and also shows you your slab section perfectly. And also when you when you go to foundation layout, also it gives you also and gives you your foundation layout section detail and also gives you your foundation detailing. As you can see it here, it gives you a very perfect um global standard detailing and also for beams and all that and also and shows you how to arrange your drawing as you can see this is stone bridge company structural detailing template it's a very good one so if you want this template i would say you should check on the link down below and download it it is not for free it's just five dollars but i would say that if you are if you want to be a good structurer and a civil engineer i would say you should get this template and with the help of this template, it will make your work to reduce it will make your workload reduce for to at least 80 percent. Okay, and I have been using this template for the past 2017, and I must tell you it has all it has it has given me a good edge in anywhere at all. And all my clients and the company which have used this template to perform my um my my um my um my 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 social work they have always um say thank you because it's 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 um, everything shows clearly that you, you don't have to strain your eyes to see and also after printing your work you will see that your work is very okay so right now i'll be showing you how to detail a beam manually using this template stonebridge company template so right now if I go here right now to, to, to copy this beam layout, one of these beam layout, which I want to perform the structural detailing for beam and copy it down into the Stonebridge company templates. And I'll just take a section here and then paste it here, somewhere here. Now, once I paste it here, I'll just create a block. If you are a user of Ekidel, you know that once you paste anything in this template, you just create a block so that you don't go and mistake it with the sample which, which you already have here. As you can see, it also comes to the template and which after everything you have to now um impute all your um put all your drawings here on sheet, which which you can do it this way and impute your drawings on sheets to now um begin to show you begin to show your drawing and then go for printing. But for now, right now, I'm not in this stage. I'm only showing you how to detail your beam manually or, or how to use this template to detail your beam perfectly. So right now, we go here right now, this place we place it right now. Since we want to perform a beam detail right now, I, I just go right now at this Stonebridge company sample beams. I'll just copy one of, one of these beams right now and just copy one of the beams copy it down to this place which i want to start my beam detailing and just paste it here then out now also um, create a a boundary also for this also and then create a line this way to show that this is not the beam which i'm trying to use but i just want to use the sample to now sh show to to, to i like, see how to detail beam perfectly okay so right now i now go right now let me choose a beam to detail let me see i want to detail this beam here right now if i want to detail this beam five right now i'll just copy this beam five right now copy it out so this let me just paste it here and then apply my trim to trim off out oh, sorry i'll copy it using both the grid lines so i'll go back to beam five right here copy this beam and also copy the grid lines so that i'll know the the 
the the grid lines at which that being forced on so i'll now paste it here right now so once i paste it here right now i'll now click on xl concession line and enter and i'll click on this and paste this here and i'll hold this and then trim off this uh, excessive line that just crosses this one then remove this right now and remove this one this is not necessary take this off take this off also then i'll also do xl enter horizontal enter and clean this here also and hold this right now and trim this only sorry okay and trim this right now tr and clean this off right now and clean this off also clean this off and clean this off leaving just this ones here right now and then i can now stretch this one now down what i'll just say stretch s and stretch it downward make my line straight and stretch it down and keep it here and then remove this right now so i can know that this is the beam i'm trying to detail as you can see here beam five so right now to detail this beam right now if you already have this stone bridge company template i'll show you how to do how to use the samples which which you already have here how to edit it right now for the sake of those people that that, that have already bought this template let me show you how to use this sample which which you have here to to now use it for your own personal being for your own personal being structural detailing work so right now you just go right now to let me just copy this right now first of all i also create a vertical line on this grid which i want to perform the pin detailing right now create it here right now and then I will now have to now copy this right now, copy this point right now, copy from here right now, and paste it directly again at the grid, as you can see it here. Then right now, you can see that this is the beam which I'm trying to detail, and this is the sample that came with Stonebridge Comp Template. So I will now have to edit this right now to fit in with these dimensions and everything that is here on this place. So right now, I will now have to, this is the point we are this being stops this being stops so i have to now remove every all these ones that i see this place i'll just hold this one right now and say trim i'll just apply trim and trim off all this right now trim of this place entirely trim off okay then i'll hold this right now and they just say remove and delete this place remove this place right now take this off and then bring this out back home right now and keep this here right now okay so right now you cannot see what i have right now so this place right now is where the grid is so i'll just first of all move this section um symbol right now and then keep it here and then move this grid line right now and then keep it directly move it to this point and keep it here and then what i have again now i'll just draw a line again to align with this face of this place face of this place and then i'll just take off this right now and what i have again now just extend right now extend this and extend this okay and then hold this right now and then hold this again and then t arrow sorry t arrow and trim off this and then trim off this also and then what i have now to do right now is to now draw a line draw a line from this point from draw a line from this point of my grid starting to this to this end of point right now let me move this also now i'll have to mirror this end of this place right now i have to mirror this place right now mirror this place to be able to find the same thing here so i'll just do apply mirror mi and then and mirror it down to this place and then say no you can see that we, we now have this here and have this here also so i can now go right now and say extend extend this right now to this and extend this also to this right now so right now i can now match properties to match this to the same thing which i have here you can see there so right now i can now copy this right now again to this place which i have here also and keep it here and then right now i have my column extending upwards so i'll just go again right now just do this right now copy this right now to the same thing here and then do the same thing there as i said then do M -M mirror hold this at the at the center of this beam you can see it here center and mirror it upward there you can see it there and then say no and then trim off this place right now trim off this place to make this one hidden detail so i'll copy this right now and copy this to this place right now from this point i'll copy this from this point picking here as my reference point and paste this here right now okay so the same thing happens to this place again i'll just copy this hold this and hold this copy this right now and then mi mirror 
and then move from the second point here and then keep it here and then say no and then trim off this place right now and trim off this and then trim off this right now and then go here right now and just apply this J join these two together do the same okay it's already upward there then on this our uh, design here the depth of our slab is 150 but so let me let, let me check if this sample that came with stone bridge is 150 if it's not we we'll just use 150 okay, this one gives me 175 so what i'll do right now is to just um offset 150 or take it back by um 25 so i'll take it back by 25 backward and then confirm by 150 if it is there from my design reports okay 150 as you can see there this now 150 as you can see it here this slab now is now 150 so i just remove that i just want to confirm that if it's true okay so right now you cannot see what we have so we take our grid line this is grid line e and grid line h so we'll just change this right now to grid line e and h e and then changes to h right now changes to h so we have the, they have now gotten what we have here already then change this name this is beam 5 at 225 by 300 depth so change this right now this is no roof beam so remove this one that came with sample roof and then use this as beam what five and at 300 300 depth which which sort what, what what we have here so let's confirm if our depth of this beam is 300 so let me confirm and if, if it's not 300 I'll, I'll show you how to how to edit that you can see this, this is 450 so we have to now edit this right now now just do this right now and highlight from the midpoint you can see what i'm doing right now not all over but from this midpoint here you can see they are below the slab not not with the slab but below the slab right now just highlights right now so i highlight this right now and then use x which is stretch to stretch this backward by 150 because since you have uh been there to be 300 and already existing as 450 so i'll say 150 backward and if you measure this right now you can see that this now becomes 300 as you can see it here this now becomes 300 as you can see it here, 300 so it is now it's not conform to what we have here and also so, so what we have here also so right now just go here right now and keep this here just now and then keep this here again just here okay so right now again i will not show you we will have to remove this right now so i will not show you how to um number um calculate the this this number of this um links for this beam so i'll just do this right now and paste and click on this at the first point of this grid line of this link and also click here at the first point of this link and keep this here also and also for the for the sake of the people who don't have this template i will also show you guys a manual detailing after just after this video i will show you a, a, how to detail your beam manually okay but for this is just for the people that have this template to make their work very easy so right now next to do right now i'll also um make this place and bring it backward here because this place must show hidden details so i'll just copy this right now to show hidden detail that this be entered this column but it is hidden because it won't be able to see because of this column so just show the same thing hidden okay this all okay so right now again i'll just um keep this well take it far away from this section area and keep this here okay so right now let so next to the right now is to now check on your design reports what what the what the number of top reinforcement for your beam and the number of bottom reinforcement and the size and the bar mark is so right now for the bar mark for the, for the bar mark you can create your bar mark by yourself here but for this one you must take it from the design report so in my own case the design report for this is two them two number of diameter 16 at the top which is the top reinforcement for beam and four numbers downward so i'll just change it right now and put four numbers downward so this thing means four number of diameter 16 that as our bottom reinforcement a bar mark let me use my bar mark to be bar, bar, bar mark o2 i'll give them o2 here and since they have the same length of bike and see that they have the same shape you can see the shape here they have the same shape and they have the same shape for both top and bottom reinforcement so i'll still use the same bar mark and since they have the same size also 16 i'll use use zero two also the same thing okay so right now you can you can see what we have working right now so to check the number of this length right now from our design report the the from our design report the size of our link is 10 minim is, is 10 millimeter size diameter so i'll change this one out to 10 that to 10 to 10 right now diameter of our steel of our links for for the steel then also this bar mark i'll call it bar mark 02 or okay 01 because i because because we 
already have O2 here. Then I'll now leave it this way. Then our, our spacing right now from our design report for this beam we are about to turn to detail is 200. So right now, then the, the next thing left right now is now know the number of links that will occupy here. So right now, just check this right now and then check this point to this my point here. And this gives me what? Um four six seven five. So I'll say QC cap which is calculator enter and I'll say four six seven five divided by my spacing, which is here two hundred here. So I'll say two hundred. This now gives me the total number of links occupying this link, this span. So this gives me twenty three point three seven five. So I'll say just use twenty four to avoid any 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 other additional space after during construction. So I'll say twenty four. And I'll just close this down and then we we'll just remove this right now. So you can see that if we also dimension this right now from here to here, you can see that this still gives me five meter as you can see it here. If you also check the same thing here also, check the same thing here for this being five from here to here, it still gives us five meter. So we have successfully um, detail this being in less than how many minutes so you can see how we have detailed this bin. so you can just take off this right now so and then let me just take off this right now so you can see how i have detailed this bin. so just to copy this bin right now and keep it somewhere right now let me see here if you're done with all your beam detailing as if, if you're done with detailing your bin one bin two and everything you just as it and 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 and, 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 and everything appears like this right now let's do right now is to just put it in on the sheet, on the sheet, you guys can see a stone bridge sheet right now. I've already taught you how to uh, edit this stone bridge sheet. You can see that for those for for those people that have that have bought this template. Okay, so so we now go back to where we are here for now. Okay, so right now you can see how we have successfully detailed this being five. And if you also count the number, which B five only appears just one just one you can see it here there is no similar beam of B five again only one times. So that's why you are you 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 are having one number towards here, you can see it here. So this is how to detail the beam sharp, sharp, or very fast using this Tom Bridge company structure template. You can see how we have, um, how we changed everything to fit into our own, um, to our own design pa parameters. You can also choose to change this to, uh, let me say, the um, B, session BB, or anything you want to use. Okay, so you can now see it right now. So this is how to detail beam using Tom Bridge company template and using the sample to edit to your own parameters. So I'll say that if you don't have this template, I'll say you should try to get it. It's just five dollars. If you are a good, if, if you want to be a good structurer and a good civil engineer, I'll say you should get this template. It's just five dollars. Click on the link below. And if you're having issue in payment, I'll say that you should just um you, you should just check on the on our on our about page or check down below. You will see our WhatsApp link. Um, chat us on WhatsApp and we sh and, and, and then we, we will have to resolve that issue for you about payment. Okay, so and also if you have not subscribed my channel, Ekidel, I will say you should click on the subscribe button so you don't miss my coming video when I will be performing other kind of um, structural detailing and other kind of um, 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 building design, which, which which soon we will be using Potter structure to like design our, our building structures. Okay, now for the sake of those people that don't have these templates, um, so, so stone template, I will also show you how how to how to, how to detail a beam manually so right now let's move on to how to detail a beam manually right now okay so thank you for watching this i can hook up to the next video if you do if if, if you don't understand what i've done but for those of for those who have bought this template i i for who have bought this template i know that they have understood very very well because they have been um using it and it has been good for them i've been, I've been getting um good comments from them and it's always cool okay so right now let's move on to the next to detail this be manually which i'll show you step by step right now okay so let's go on right now